Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been like a hot minute since like I kind of like sat down and like talked with you guys, but um, it's actually finally nice here in Seoul. The weather's finally cooling down, thank God. But yeah, I just want to do like a quick little update with you with my um visa and like work situation because things have been kind of like in a way hitting the fan and like it, it kind of sucks. Like obviously I'm like. There's no secret that I suffer from like, mental health, like a lot of people do, like there's no point in saying I don't because I do. I've always had some form of like either depression or, you know, mental health issues. And um, pretty much like I have, like I'm bipolar and like it's not, it's not really a secret. But, like it, it's really hard when you're not, when it's not being managed correctly and mine is not being managed at all and it's really bad it's always been kind of bad like i even i'm i'm a little exhausted because like i was up all night with my friend because she came from pretty much Busan up to Nijambu, which is a very long journey because she's staying in Anyang, you know it's like an hour and a half but we you know we stay here i showed her like some areas of like where i live i live in like the less populated area versus like the station with like all of the bars and shit is like down, you know, in, at the Weijian Blue Station. So I showed her that, and um, but that that's sidetracked. Like so, this video obviously is like is about my situation updated. I now have a visa and I'm now legal. But the thing is, I have to apply. You know, I had to apply to get like an ARC and do all this stuff and um. So how it went was pretty much I went to I did the visa run last pretty much coming this Monday will be a week. I went to Japan, I dropped off my passport. But like before even like getting to Japan, like when I was going to leave, pretty much like, like you have to go through, you know, besides security, you have to go through um like the immigration to you know get the fuck out. So it pretty much like they'll take your passport if you've never been not not passport. I mean obviously that has to look at your passport. But like if you've never been to Korea, like they'll take your um fingerprints. Stupid bike. I have my window open since the weather's nice. But like they take your your fingerprints and like um they scan it and they'll be like, Yeah, you're good or you're not. So I did it like a few times and they pretty much told me, like, yeah, you need to go talk to this this officer because your past your, your shit's not being accepted so i'm like great i'm like you don't i, I don't i wasn't reported to Im immigration or the government saying hey you're illegal pretty much because i've been working on an expired visa and i now legally am able to work but that was like before then so i was like uh this is not going how i wanted to so i pretty much they sent me to some other officer she looks at my stuff and like stamps a ghost so like go have fun or the dude i don't remember but they're like get out of here go and i got you know to my gate no problem when i got into japan it, the flight was relatively you know short it was like an hour an hour and 15 hour and 10 and the flight cost less than like i think it was like 110 bucks which cut due to the um the tension between korea and japan there's always been kind of like a you know a tense feeling there and it's completely understandable from Korea's side and justifiable because what Japan has done and never really owned up to but that's a different video that's another topic for another day if you don't know look it up it's been it's been crazy so when I got to Japan pretty much like make sure I was a uh, question she's like what are you doing here why, why are you here and I'm like tourism and she's like okay what do you plan on doing and i'm like oh i'm meeting my friend which is a bullshit lie i didn't meet anybody i went alone because they said i was supposed to go with somebody but i did it alone because they're like if i if i was to wait again they would have made me wait until like almost november and i'm like my um visa number is only good for 90 days and um technically i'm like I need to get the fuck out of Korea. I'd have to do a visa. I'd have to leave Jap Korea to come back to keep working. So I'm like, I'm not waiting anymore. So that's when I went. And then I got to Japan, went through immigration, no problem. I got a Wi-Fi egg because I'm like, I am not getting a SIM card. I didn't want to mess with my phone because like, I don't have the tools to do it. I'm like, screw that shit. Even if they would have done it for me, I don't want to, I didn't want to lose my Korean SIM card. But anyway, who cares? So I got the egg and then I went straight on the subway and I got up at like 4 a.m. that day. So I was like, I, when I got to Japan, it was like 8. We got there a little bit earlier, 
So like I got there like seven something or whatever. Didn't get through immigration until like eight o'clock. And I didn't eat that day until nighttime, which was stupid. But like I got through immigration. I went to my way, dropped off my passport. Cause when I got to the consulate, <laughs> when I got to the consulate, I had printed off a piece of paper, like the, the the application that you use in the States versus the one that they need at the consulate. They get there, there's a photo booth and like a, a one piece of paper versus six. And she's like, you just pay 50 bucks and poof, done. Which was 4,950 yen, which is around 50 bucks or so, maybe more. Korean won 55,000 or more. So did that, dropped it off and I left. And then I went to my Airbnb and it was very, the Airbnb was so nice. If you haven't watched that video, go check it out. It's nice. Like I loved that. I loved that place compared to the fucking shithole I live here. I'm like, it was really small, but I'm like, I loved it. It was just, it was fine. I said, it didn't really have that like many channels, but I didn't watch, I don't really watch TV here, so whatever. But it was nice because like I got into my Airbnb around like 11 something. So I did like a little, actually I did a video after, but like I saw the bathroom and there's a shower tub and I'm like, oh my God. So I took a shower and I looked, or took a shower bath, shower and then bath because I'm like, I don't have one here. I don't have one. It's just a shower, of course. But then, like, I did some touristy shit. Like, I did. I went to Canal City Mall. Like, the Canal City Mall. I went to um, a, temp, a temple. I went to the backside of Fukuoka Castle, which I didn't see the actual front of it, which I, I could have gone see, to see on Wednesday, but I'm like, fuck it at this point. So, on when, like, Wednesday, I packed up my shit and um, went straight to. Like, first, I went and checked out Canal City again. And then I um, went to the other mall that's like right across the street from the Korean consulate. So I pretty much waited there and it got up to, it was so fucking hot that day. I'm like, I'm over the summer weather. I'm glad it's finally cooling down. But like it got up to like 30, 32 Celsius and it felt like 35. And like, that's well over if you, if you don't, obviously Americans don't use Celsius, but like it got well over fucking 80, 89 degrees like we're talking like 90 plus degrees I'm like this is bullshit so when I got there like I decided to leave Canal City around like 11 30 ish and I got to the mall around 12 something and I was looking around for something to eat and I had like um I had curry it was really good and I tried to order a kid's meal but they're like no unfortunately you're not a kid I'm like fuck it had chicken though <laughs> But anyway, so like I did that, I walked around for a little bit more. I went across the street the first time, but like the consulate, they strictly say, come, the Fukuoka consulate, like come back on like drop off Monday, come Wednesday, pick it up 1.30, not before, not after, like in between 1.30 and 3.30 and that's it. If you miss it, like you're fucked until the next day. So like I went there, did that, and then um, pretty much before she gave it to me, she's like, here's your passport. It's cute, but um, why do you have like why do you have um? I mean, like, they approved it, but like she's like, why do you have an expired visa? Like, what were you doing in Korea on this expired visa? And I was like, I was working. I'm like, what do you expect? Like, I was working. And she's like, what kind of work? And I'm like, teaching. And she's like really you were teaching I'm like yes I've been teaching but you granted me any two so like you granted me the you granted me this so like yeah but yeah even again when I I told him like I was working and I'm like I got a better new job or whatever but like yeah so after that I pretty much I'm like I'm walking to the subway I'm going to the airport I do not fucking care anymore I got messed up when I got to the airport because like, <laughs> I'm like, where do I drop this egg off? I'm like, is it, is it domestic? So I walked around the domestic arrivals and I'm like, Korea isn't domestic, dumbass. So I went straight from like the, like domestic to international. And that's when I saw it. I'm like, oh, hey, I'll just drop it off. Ooh, keep go. And then I went upstairs to go check in to Jeju Air because that is the flight 
That is the um, airline I took, which is not a bad airline. It's just the weight limits kind of suck ass. So like 15 kilograms, like 33 pounds ish, just like sucks. But anyway, like I went to go, like the, the desk was that close to check in, and this is a long video, sorry. I've just been ranting, talking about stupid shit. But like the, when I went to check in to Jeju Air, like Jeju Air, that won't focus, shit. But like it says Fukuoka or Incheon. But yeah, again, it won't fucking focus. But yeah, she pretty much, she looked at me, she looked at my passport, and she's like, why do you have two visas? And I'm like, uh, because I needed a new visa? She's like, what were you doing before you got this new one? She's like, it was just issued yesterday, which was like October 1st when my visa was issued, my new one. Let me see. Yeah, it was it issued the, uh, the 1st of October. And she was looking at it and she was like, so what were you doing before you got this E2? I'm like, I'm like, I was working. She's like, what were you doing? I'm like, I was teaching English. And she's like, teaching English. I'm like, yeah, my academy didn't want to wait for me to get this visa. So I, I was teaching English for almost two months illegally. And she's like, wow, well, good thing you have a visa now. And I wouldn't tell that to anybody. I'm like, I told a lot of people that I was working illegally. But I got it. And she's like, just like, don't ha let it happen again. I'm like, trust me, I won't. Because even the thing it says, like it, like it says like passport number and then the entry date like October 2nd and like permitted until like so pretty much expires like, it's not like 2020 it's like 13 months expires in November 1st of 2020 so yeah and it's usually if I don't know if I'm actually gonna stay that long but yeah I have my visa I'm legal now I just have to get my stuff together which from what it seemed like, I'm like, I started bugging them, like, hey, I want to get my ARC, I want to get, like, a bank account, and I want to get insurance, because I'm like, I don't want to keep going to see this doctor without insurance, because it's 120,000 won every time, I'm like, it's 100, it's like 100 bucks, 100 and something do US dollars every time, I'm like, I don't want to fucking do that, like, so it's like once a week, I'm like, that's almost 400, that's almost $500 a month, in just seeing a doctor, like, a doctor, and like that doesn't even include the damn medicine. I'm like, I'm not seeing that doctor until I get this insurance, period. I'm like, I refuse to do it. But my boss came to me the other day. He's like, I need to talk to you. I'm like, okay. He's like, yeah, we're gonna work on, well, I'm gonna work on getting you your ARC and all this stuff. I'm like, you need to make an appointment for that and then take me to immigration where we can do this right. I'm like, you can't do it without me. Just saying, like, you need, you need my, I mean, you could probably do it without me because you need my passport and shit. And I'm like, and I have that because it's, it's my shit. So it's like, yeah, we can do that. And then like had a list of like six things. Like, well, you need to speak louder. I'm like, okay. You need to speak slower. I'm like, I do, but okay. And then he's like, one thing he's like you need to really try and change and i'm like what what do you what 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 more what more is there he's like you need to control your emotions better i'm like um okay i'm like how so he's like when you get mad you slam your computer and you like hit the desk and like you look some days you look really upset like you want to cry it's like you need that needs to stop like you can't show that emotion here because it's work like work is work and i'm like um i get it to a certain extent but the reason why i get like pissed off like a three-year-old is because my computer has issues connecting to the fucking printer and we're supposed to print lessons and shit to teach to give the kids to teach them and like my computer usually doesn't like to connect to said printer so I, like, I try to troubleshoot it and like I'll cancel all the stuff and I'll try it again and I'll still say like either it's offline, out of paper, out of ink. So I'm like, I get really pissed and I slam my computer shut, which is obviously not the best idea. And I'm like, I know that, but like I have anger issues and I know I'm like, it goes hand in hand with, I, I'm stupid, but I know it goes hand in hand with depression. Like I have anger issues. I know that it's like, I, I look like I'm upset all the time. I'm like again, go 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 for my mental health. Like, I, and it's like you need to stop showing it on your face. I'm like, well, that's a bitch because both of my parents, my mom and dad, they always like they wear their emotions on their on their face. Like, 
whatever I'm feeling, like it, it's right there. It's like a book. Like you can read what, even if, if I'm disgusted, you will know. If I, if I am mad, you will know. It's like, it, it, you can tell my emotions like that. Like some people are like a good at covering up, but like, no, if I'm mad, you will see it. it it's on my face. Like it just, it's there. And like you need to, cause apparently like my anger scared some people and they don't want to come to my class. And I'm like, okay. Cause he compared me to a teacher who's been doing this shit for five years. He's like, well, she speaks loud and she does this. I'm like, I'm not her. Okay. I've only been doing this shit for less than two fucking months. What do you expect? So I'm like, of course I'm like, I can try. He's like, I'll check in again in a month. And I'm like, okay, so if I'm not good in a month, are you gonna fire me or do I have to quit? Is that what you're insinuating that like either one's gonna happen? I'm like, just give me my damn paycheck for the, these two fucking months then and I'll piss off, like period. I'm like, I'm not doing this shit. I'm like, I don't care if you're stressed, if you're losing students, it's not my fault. I'm like, I'm doing what I can. It's like, I'll try, but I'm like, I'm not gonna put my heart and soul into this, okay? I have ass everything, period. So I'm like, whatever. This is a really long video. But like, that's just like my rant. My boss is like, you need, to, you need to change your shit, get it together, and like, just stop being an emotional wreck, pretty much. Like, get it together. I'm like, like I don't have, I don't have, this going on at work, so you shouldn't either. Like, you know my circumstances, so don't play that shit with me. But anyway, that's all for this video, and hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, like, like, and if you want to, only if you want to subscribe for more shit show content, shit content from me, I'll try to do more but yeah that's all for this video and i will see you jelly beans later bye bye